Hey everyone, welcome to Plants and Politics. So, <laughs> Jared Kushner, the uh, boy-faced wonder, he has been caught making a comment that, ah, God, it's, it's kind of his deplorable moment or Joe Biden's you ain't black moment or any number of Trump's moments, but Take a listen if you haven't seen this, and unbelievable. The one thing we've seen in a lot of the, 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 the black community, which is mostly Democrat, is that uh, President Trump's policies are the policies that can help people break out of the problems that they're complaining about, but he can't want them to be successful more than they want to be successful. And what you're seeing throughout the country now is a groundswell of support in the black community because they're realizing that all the different bad things that the media and the Democrats have said about President Trump uh, are not true. So there you have it. So this is... This is the guy <laughs> who was born with a platinum spoon, basically in every orifice of his body. This is the guy whose uber wealthy family sent him to Harvard, yet he still can't manage to get out of his own way. This is the guy that when you look up the words fortunate, privileged, nepotism, generational wealth, his picture appears right next to all of them. This is the guy who literally failed at everything in his life, but was still handed everything that he didn't deserve, including being appointed as an advisor to the Trump White House. This is the guy who inherited a multi-million dollar real estate empire from his daddy because his daddy went to prison for fraud. This is the guy who inherited enough money to purchase a newspaper company and is described by employees of that company as an idiot and not knowing what the hell he was doing, yet he still manages to fail upward due to his name and money. This is the guy who descri is described by almost every former member of Trump's administration as overly confident and an idiot or a moron. Yet he has remained in the White House for four years simply because he's married to the boss's daughter. This is the guy who, but for his marriage, to the daughter of the Trump crime family, and now apparent dictator of America, would almost certainly be in prison for the crimes that he and his wife have committed. That's the guy who's telling black people, they just don't wanna succeed at bad enough. You have every opportunity, but you just have to want it more than Trump wants it for you. Yeah, yeah, that's it, Jared. You get it. You, son of wealthy coastal elites who has had every advantage in life and everything handed to him, who has never truly had to work for anything ever. You've got it. You nailed it. That's the problem. It has nothing to do with a history of systemic racism in this country. It has nothing to do with laws that prevented black people from creating generational wealth as his family was allowed to do without any barriers. It has nothing to do with racist BS like redlining and blockbusting and steering tactics used in the real estate industry until not that long ago. And they prevented black people from purchasing homes or building wealth through real estate as his family did. They specifically steered people away from buying in black neighborhoods, which kept prices suppressed. They purposely kept black people in certain areas so they wouldn't infect the white people around them. I'm sure it has nothing to do with discrimination in the workplace or the job market or the fact that black workers are still paid on average less than white workers for the same exact work. 
I'm sure, uh, of course, it has nothing to do with the fact that black people have more health problems that stem from pollution and other environmental issues because corporations and the government take advantage of this wealth inequality and they choose to dump or allow the dumping and polluting of our air and land and water in low income, predominantly black communities where they know they don't have the financial resources to fight. How many landfills or other toxic waste sites do you think Jared has had to deal with in his neighborhoods? Do you think he has cesspools? Do you think he has pits of pig manure that seep into the land near his home and, and make its way into his drinking water? Do you think Jared's family ever had to worry about lead poisoning from their tap water as Flint, Michigan residents did? You think a lot of factories were pumping out cancer-causing fumes near Kushner mansions? You think he or anyone in his orbit has ever given one moment's thought to the amount of medical debt that results from all of this? You think Kushner or any in his elite circles has ever contemplated the amount of physical and emotional stress and pain caused by all of this? Not to mention actual brain damage and a reduced capacity for higher learning or a reduction in physical stamina, like what happened in Flint, Michigan, when children literally suffered irreversible damage to their brains from the lead poisoning? Are you kidding me? Oh yeah, you know, you know, black people, just pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Just got to try harder. It's your fault, apparently. Unbelievable. Anyway, guys, as always, like, share, subscribe. Thank you for watching and listening. I will talk to you soon. Take care. Thanks for listening to Plants and Politics. The only way we can take our country and power back is to spread the truth and build an army. So remember to like, follow, subscribe, and share on Facebook, YouTube, and wherever you listen to your podcasts. Thanks again.